The tree right behind me is in the family Betulaceae. It's in the genus Betula, and the specific epithet is nigra. This is Betula nigra, or river birch. Let's take a closer look at its identifying characteristics. Many of things in the Betulaceae family, or the birches, can be told apart by their bark. So bark is a really good characteristic to understand. On older river birch, it has these plates, fairly stiff plates, and there's some slight coloring. Hard to see here, but when you look at it in the landscape, you can see multiple colors and a little bit of paperiness toward the inside. So if you scan from lower all the way up, the bark it's fairly consistent until you start to get into the newer branches. On the newer branches, and this would be true of the trunks, the bark is smooth and very, very exfoliating or peeling. And there are multiple colors. So you'll have some whites and some tans, occasionally some salmon color. Those river birch that are produced for horticultural reasons tend to select for bark that is really very colorful and exfoliating. On birches, the younger portions of the twigs or branches usually mimic what the younger tree would look like. So make sure that you're looking at the full extent of bark on trees when you're trying to identify them. The leaves and, and buds move alternately as you move up a twig on the birches. The twig of river birch, you can see slight hairs on the newest growth. The foliage of the river birch, or the leaf, I think looks different than many of the other birches. Has a slight angle at the base, comes to a tip, and is doubly serrated or doubly toothed. So you have these bigger teeth and then smaller teeth in between. And on the underside is typically a light green color dark green above, light green below. Another good identifying characteristic for birches are having catkins. Catkins are the male flowers and they happen to preform in many of the birches, meaning these catkins that are green here form in the fall, late summer or fall of one year and then will release their pollen the following spring. Where these are the male catkins, or the male flowers, the female flowers would point directly up off of a twig and release the seed. Here you can see a grouping of three river birch, and these also typically produce a fairly narrow crown with one single reasonably straight trunk. It's not uncommon, however, for these to be sold as clumps, where there are three or four trunks planted together, either from separate trees or where a tree has been pruned and allowed to produce multiple trunks at the base. When you see natural growing river birch, it's more common to see them as single-stemmed. 